Hey guys, Spiritual Path Seeker here with another video on identifying metal ores and actually um, identifying any mineral. This is a, a tool I'm going to give you that we haven't discussed yet and we haven't applied yet. So <clears throat> first, and just to re review, we have in other videos proven, we're going to use chromite as an example here today, uh, found this in the Baltimore Harbor, all these pieces here, and uh, where steel was made uh, up until decades ago. But anyway, this we, we were able to identify this as chromite because of the color. And I've, I've actually uh, polished this side, and <laughs> so it's black, beautiful. Um, so the color is black. It leaves a brown streak. If you scrape it on white pottery, rough pottery, piece of white, you know, the rough part of pottery or a streak plate, it will leave a brown streak, uh, even though it's black. So that's another indication that it is chromite. And then finally, it's, it doesn't attract to a mag magnet, even though there might, sometimes there is a little iron, some iron, uh, there might be a little uh, piece of iron in this one somewhere, uh, maybe up here, I don't know. But uh, essentially, there's not enough for it to, it does not attract to a magnet at all. And finally, actually, the weight. So if you had a piece of chalk or something, a piece of coal, it would be so much lighter. So, and if you had a piece of lead, it would be a much heavier. Uh, <clears throat> so you need to develop, that's something you need to develop is a feel for the weight. But and then here's another piece you can you can see it it looks just like coal i mean you would think oh my god i i i, I it's just a piece of coal i'm gonna check but when you pick it up you're like oh because i had that feel i had that feel for the weight right i can feel this is too heavy to be coal yeah and it turns out it's too hard to be coal and here i've i've just uh just for fun i kind of polished that face uh, just to you know give bring out uh, the color and everything so anyway that we, that that's to review other videos we've done we've co uh, concluded that this when I'm finding these specimens these are chromite but I'm gonna give you a new tool today and that is that that certain minerals are often associated with certain minerals so it turns out the example of chromite and you when you learn about your ro your rocks and minerals you'll You'll, uh, you, you, you'll have to do a little research to find this out. But chromite it often is developed with, uh, it comes together with serpentine types of, of, um, of minerals. Like uh, the, the serpentinite, the green, and there's various forms of that. There's, it comes with a lot of uh, green calcite or dolomite. It comes with, uh, there can be magnetite in there. There can be uh, what's called magnesite, which is a white uh, kind of colored mineral and uh, it's often mined and, and used in jewelry and things and then finally uh, there's asbestos okay so uh, and also epidote is is a uh, is a uh, kind of uh, green crystal that comes with uh, a serpentine kind and there's many other minerals that, that will be associated with serpentine all right and we know that Chromite uh, often is found with in serpentine areas, in serpentine barrens, in serpentine quarries. As a matter of fact, Baltimore was the leading provider of serpentine, in I mean of, of chromite in the world uh, up until like the mid 19th century, or even a little beyond. So we have uh, serpent uh, chromite mines here. Uh, they're not working anymore, though. They can't compete with Africa and uh, Turkey and other places. So, now, the thing is, I'm finding all of these things on the, on the bay, and uh, they're not, they're, they might be from here, they might not be from here, but it's chromite. So, the first one I want to show you, here's your chromite on the top layer here, sort of, and here's, again, chromite on the bottom layer. But <clears throat> this other mineral, uh, okay, I don't know what this other mineral is actually, to tell you the truth. It's, it has characteristics like 
mica. It has, it, it, or it could even be like some kind of weathered old kind of serpentinite, or it could be hornblende. I don't know what it is. So I'm not gonna make any claims about that one other than just to show it to you, this tan colored one. But we do have serpentinite. Uh, let me see if I can get some water um, on that. Let's see here. Let's see if that will bring out the green. I don't know. Maybe a little. So um, that's serpentinite. Okay. So right there, and then on top of that, we've got we've also got this kind of whitish aquamarine colored mineral. There's there's aquamarine coloring in it, uh, and there's. Uh, you know, so some people will know what this, like, what this is. I personally, you know, don't know what it is. And, but it's something we would find in Maryland. This is just like standard, uh, often in, uh, in our areas though, the chromite is just in little crystals, but so far, I don't know. This could be from here or not. So anyway, we are, we've confirmed then, ah, not just based on characteristics of the rocks themselves, the, the, the mineral itself, but now we can look at what other minerals this, this mineral is, is found with because thanks, thankfully they, some of the mine tailing got into the ore and from the mine and we were able to see some of the original uh, mine tailings or waste rock and then this one also gives us a clue. Remember I mentioned epidote. I believe these are epidote crystals, a whole vein of epidote uh, throughout the whole rock. Remember, we've got to call it a rock because there's two minerals. There's chromite and epidote. So it's not pure. It's a rock. So anyway, that again, more more evidence that this is in fact chromite otherwise if it were if it were found together with some other kind of mineral that doesn't fit in with where chromites develop then we would say it's not chromite and then this is just a bonus i have no idea what this particular mineral is that's associated with this piece of chromite uh just a neat piece of possibly horn blend uh it's it's it seems to be shiny on two sides. I don't know, which is a little different than what mica would do. Uh, and it seems to be similar in some ways to horn blend. You know, so I, I will leave this to everybody's, um, if anybody has an idea about, about what's that, what this mineral is. And as I said, also what this tan mineral is here on uh, this rock. So anyway, that's a new tool. You have the type of minerals that your mineral is found together with is a clue to what it is. So keep looking down.